Yo, yeah, what's up guys? I uh, just got some holsters in the mail in my P.O. box from uh, White Hat Holster Company. And uh, it's titled, The Most Comfortable Holsters That You Will Ever, That You Will Never See. You get it? The most comfortable holster that you will never see. In other words, it's in the waistband, you won't see it. Um, I wore the, uh, see the one with the American flag on it, with the gun in it, the one with the, the, the Kimber in it, I wore that for like half a day, and, uh, it's, it's on par with, um, Crossbreed, it's about the same quality, you know, uh, the only difference is, uh, you can get different designs on the, uh, the Tidex shells, you can get American flag, and you can get digital, uh, camouflage uh, or you can just get plain black or uh, you might you might be able to get any design you want I'm not sure about that though uh, you have to look into that um, looks like a good quality holster to me uh, I have the uh, crossbreed super tuck by uh, no not by from one of my favorite gun channels the armory guild he's in my channel box check him out his name's Matt and he just sent me one of these. I think he sent it for my birthday. I think that's what, yeah, that's what it was for a few months ago. And he sent me this. And this one's for a 1911, just like this one. And that's the crossbreed. And uh, it's about the same quality, you know. And I'm a big fan of the crossbreed. So I'm a big fan of uh, white head holsters now. Holds the gun in there nice and tight. You can put it upside down. The gun won't come out. You can change the shells. You can put a black one on there if you want. You can put a camouflage on there. Whatever you want. Digital camouflage. Uh, nice, nice holster. This gun is loaded just to show you how it holds it. The gun don't come out of there. I mean, if you shake it hard, it might. You know, your gun's got to come out because you got to pull it out of the damn thing. Out of, the, out of the... When you draw your weapon. I'm trying to find something to prop this up because... Um, it's very simple to change the shells out. You just take these six screws out, replace them, and then put whatever you want on there. Uh, here's one for a Springfield XD. Beautiful holster. One's cowhide, one's horsehide. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. You can change the shells out. You can make it anything you want. Beautiful, beautiful leather. Everything's adjustable. The clips are adjustable. The clips are, have five adjustments on it on each side. They're very wide base clips, which is great for a heavy gun. Gives you stability. Doesn't make you feel like, like doesn't start pulling your pants down. You know, when you got when you got a holster like this, let me see if we can find it. When you got a holster like this one, this is a uh, I don't even know what the hell this is. I got this at a gun shop. It's for a Glock. They work okay. Now the Glocks are really light, so. Not a good example, but if you have a holster like this and put a 1911 in there or a SIG, it's going to keep pulling your pants down. All the weight is contracted in here. It has one clip on the back. All the weight is in this narrow area, so it's going to pull. Pull your pants down, okay? So, I mean, this is good for a light gun, but if you've got a gun that has some weight to it, you want to have a, a holster with wide base clips on it like this. And what's good about these clips is they are steel, they're strong, and they're adjustable, like I said. Um, <clears throat> I like it. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, as far as quality goes and, and, and uh, comfort, I'll give it, i say, like an 8.5. It's like way above average, okay? This one I wore for half a day just to test it out. I, I wore it while I was running errands. I was going to a couple places. Uh, supermarket, I went to a deli, I went to the diner, and just had it on me. Felt great. My pants stayed up. My belt hole, I didn't even have a real good belt. My belt, I only have a one inch belt, and believe it or not, it's really not a good belt. You want a, at least an inch and three quarter belt. The wider the belt, the better, but it, it still worked great. I had no problems with it. And you guys know 1911s are heavy. This is all steel, the slide steel. The frame steel and it's full loaded magazine in there and it did not pull my pants down what do you think of that and i'm fat you know i ain't shaped like an hourglass anymore like i was telling mr 45 bullet i'm about an hour and 45 minutes now 
So, since I'm shaped like that, you know, your gun uh, will keep pulling your pants down because you don't have that, that hip where your hips go in. We don't have that. But I thank Bill very, very much for being a very fat man because when we were in North Carolina, we were in a pool and he made me look like a Chippendale. Thank you, Bill. It was very, very nice of you. Anyway, uh, try and look at this other angle. Hmm. That's great, too. It has, the holster comes up higher than the, than the uh, beaver tail. So it doesn't, there's no, like, no metal rubbles on your skin with this holster. That's what's cool about it. Uh, same with this. This is for a Springfield XD. The holster comes higher than the, up to the back of the slide. It goes up a good half inch past it. And that's good. Now what's great about these kind of holsters is the more you wear them, the better they get. The better they get. The better they get. They break in like a baseball glove, like a catcher's mitt. You know, you first put it on, it feels like, uh, you know, if you ever played football, it feels like a hip. A hip pad, you know, you know, it's a little weird, but after a couple days, wear I'm telling you, if you wear it seriously, if you wear it all the time for like a couple weeks or even a week, you'll see a big difference. It shapes to your body. Actually, your your perspiration and sweat breaks it in, and just just from wearing it, and it gets real, real soft. It gets really soft, and uh, it gets it gets really comfortable, you know, but. I liked them. I'm glad he sent them to me. I want to thank Tony from uh, White Hat Holsters for sending me these samples. And like I said, we're probably going to carry these on our website. I'm not sure though yet. I'm not positive. Let me get a little close up for you. It's nice to have a nice camera for once. It took me so long to find the right camera. How many cameras I go through? If you've been a subscriber of mine, it has to be 15. Isn't that sick? Yeah, there it is. You hear that squeaking because I'm on a friggin' tripod. It's not a very good tripod. There's the XD. And like I said, if you don't like that digital stuff, if you don't like them designs, you can just ask Tony for just, say, I want a plain black shell. You know? But if you want something digital or something really cool, ask him. He might be able to put anything you want on it. I'm not sure, you know. I'm not sure about that. So that's it. There's my white hat holster video, and uh, just go to whitehatholsters.com if you want to see other stuff. You know, you could see the whole shebang there. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be uh, selling these to our website. So I don't know when the website's open, and everyone's asking me. It's really like very like. I don't want to say anything because, you know, that's, that's Tom's call. But very, very shortly. Definitely this month, I can tell you that. That's for sure. Alright, see you guys later. Hope you liked the uh, holster video. Oh, whoops, I forgot to mention something. If any of you guys ordered shirts when I was away, because I have so many different shirts we sell, these ones... The 100 year anniversary shirts. If you ordered one of these while I was away, they will be getting shipped out tomorrow. Or, I don't know if I can't say tomorrow because here's the front. These are cool. It's got the armory choke on the, you know. In new subscribers, if you guys are interested, I, I got some left over. Still got a lot of these in stock. Uh, I got all sizes. Uh, these, these sell good. Everyone likes them. They're very reasonable. The shipping's free. And they're really cool looking. You get a lot of compliments when you wear them. I do anyway. So I just want to let you know, if you did order these, uh, they'll, they'll be getting shipped out this week. Tomorrow, which is, what's today? Wednesday. Wednesday the 6th of July. Uh, everything's getting shipped out, okay? So I don't think I forgot about you. I know it's taken long because I was away, but I'm back now. Everything's all boxed up and they're getting shipped out, all right? Sorry about that. Uh, any guys, any other guys interested in a shirt, uh, just go to, don't PM me because I get too many PMs. I don't even look in that thing because there's so many P PMs. You know, I do look in there, I'm just saying. But if you uh, go to this, I have a special email. It's called shirts1911 
at yahoo.com. Okay? I'll put the bubble up. If any of you guys don't want to miss out on these, because I still got a decent amount left here. Alright, I'll see you later.